Let's graph a couple of horizontal shifts uh, or transformations of exponential functions. So we want to get to this graph of two raised to the quantity x plus three. So the, the plus three is up in the exponent attached directly to x. So to get there, what I want to do is start with a parent function or a graph that we know. So the two to the x is the most obvious one in this case, because we have two to the x with that plus three attached. So in getting going on this, we want to identify two key points for the two to the x graph. It's always zero comma one, like two to the zero power is always equal to one. And then if you plugged in a one for our x, you get the base back. So two to the first power is the same thing as two. The other thing to track around as we do this is we have a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis for the two to the x graph. Now let's work on figuring out a few key points in our horizontal asymptote of this graph, the two to the x plus three. So in this case, I would refer to this plus three as being attached directly to x. It's up in the exponent with the x. So whenever you attach a number directly to x, that's always gonna be some sort of horizontal shift, either left or right. Now these kind of work the opposite direction we think they should, they're counterintuitive. So when you think plus three, normally we wanna move everything to the right three. But in this case, it's actually, like I said, counterintuitive. This plus three attached directly to x will actually move everything to the left three units. So what I wanna do is it's not gonna affect our horizontal asymptote. That's still gonna be at zero for a y value or at the x axis, but it is gonna affect these key points. So this key point was at zero one when we pick it up. Okay, we we're at zero one. When we move left three units, we're gonna go one, two, three units to the left. We're gonna be at zero negative three. Kind of list that off to the side here. And then we had a key point at one, two. Pick that up, move to the left one, two, three units. Set it back down. It's gonna be at negative two, two. All right, from here, we basically wanna kind of sketch in the rest of the graph, but be careful about those two key points. So when we get done, it should look like the exact same as our original graph, picked up, moved to the left three units and set back down. But just follow the key points around and you'll be okay on this. Now, all of these exponential functions have a domain that's the same. It's from negative infinity to positive infinity because we're allowed to plug anything we want into this exponent. It's not gonna be undefined. All right, it's gonna still reside in real numbers. All right, next up our horizontal asymptote. Well, over on the left-hand side, we get close to the x-axis still. So we say horizontal asymptotes at y equals zero. And then the range, by looking at the graph, you can see it has to be above the x-axis or we could say from zero to infinity, leaving out the zero because we get very, very close to it out here on the left-hand side, but we never quite get there. The key points I've indicated up here on our graph, zero, negative three and negative two, two. Hang on, <laughs> that's not zero, negative three. That is negative three, one. Don't know where zero negative three came from. Negative three, one is this key point that I put on our graph. All right, let's try another one. Again, we're starting with two to the X and it's key points. Hopefully we're, we're comfortable with where those come from. But this time we have two to the X minus three. So this time another number attached directly to X up in the exponent with the X. So that's gonna be a horizontal shift, but again, kind of moves in the opposite direction we think. It's counterintuitive. So this one's actually gonna move everything to the right three units. So again, let's identify those key points and make sure we're in the right place for those. So we're at zero, one for one of these key points, right, one, two, three, and we're gonna be at three, one. Double check me on that, I guess. The other one was at one, two, was our key point. We move that to the right, one, two, three, and we're gonna be at four, two. Okay, the rest of the graph gets picked up, moved here to the right, three units as well and set back down. So hopefully that looks pretty similar to our original starting graph, picked up, moved to the right three units, set back down. Again, domain, all of these negative to positive infinity. Horizontal asymptote still at the x-axis, so we say y equals zero. And then the range, get very close to the x-axis or a y value of zero, but we never quite get there. So leave out uh, the zero by using parentheses or open brackets here as opposed to closed brackets. Key points are listed up here. Hope this helps out on graphing horizontal transformations of exponential functions. Good luck.